guests. Welcome to episode two of Summer Speed Cuban. This week, we're going to Dublin. I found a team on. <laughs> it's your true screen. <laughs> Simply light filter. <laughs> hey Chris, how you doing? I'm doing good. Uh, are, you uh, are you looking forward to competing on Sunday? I'm very much looking forward to it. Oh, oh jeez! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we just got attacked by a dog. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I'm actually just gonna zoom in. Alright. Journo to clock connoisseur tries to solve a normal oh, puzzle and, and messes up an F12 pair instantly. Classic Shawno Tool moment. What do you think of Shawno Tool's 3x3 solving team on Kolishinsky? I don't want to know. You just don't want to know. You don't want to think about it. What about you, Simon? How, how do you think his skills are? I'm very skilled. Very skilled? I'm the next Tim on Kolashinsky. Yes. I'm gonna I'm gonna get a 4.85 world record average this time. Wow we I'm talking like a city boy and drinking with a northern soul. She said I should come over. Series morning Sean. Timon, what do you think of this this wonderful venue in Perry's Town, Dublin? Really good so far. Yeah, temperatures are alright. I'm pretty sure I've been in this exact same style of sports hall in New Zealand before, which is pretty funny. Show us the solve. Well, the venue is better than any venue I've been in in Poland. <laughs> Timon Kolosinski doing data entry. Rumour has it this is the first time he's ever helped out a competition. I just finished two by two round one. Uh, I actually did pretty decently. I think we got like a mid two. And I won up two solves and an EG out. Uh, which is pretty uncommon for me because I don't know that many. So that was kind of cool. And next up is 3x3. I think I'm about group 3 or something, so probably got a bit of a weight. Alright, I just did 3x3 three three round 1. Started off really strong with a 5.9 with EO into the TZB. Um, so I was really happy with that. And then I got nervous since I started so well. And here's Mary. <laughs> Hello, Mary. Um, and Team One's just about to do his last solve. I don't actually know what time he's got. Uh, and then we're doing 4x4 four four round 1 after that. So straight after 3x3, three three, I had 4x4 four four round 1. I've been uh, trying to learn OLL parity avoidance from Ari Satoria recently. I only started learning on Wednesday and I didn't think I'd be able to do it at this comp. Uh, but I started doing like a normal average, messed up the first solve, so I thought, whatever, I'll try it. The second solve, I ran out of time in inspection, so just gave up. And then the third and fourth solve, I did it successfully, avoiding OLL parity. And then the fifth solve, I, I traced or thought I successfully traced and then got OLL parity so I messed it up somewhere uh, but that was still a 31 even with OLL parity so I did around average even with trying to do OLL parity avoidance so I'm going to try and do the same in finals and hope I'm more successful um, next up is Pyraminx I'm in the next group I think 
Uh, so I'm just going to warm up now. Not really hoping for anything, just going to have fun. Alright, it's now lunch. Just did pyramid. It's got like a mid four hour average or something because I DNF to solve. Uh, and now we're just chilling outside. We got, I don't know, like half an hour until three by three round two. Um, and we'll be in the second batch of groups. Um, but yeah, the day's been a bit yeah so far. I'm glad, happy with my 4x4 OPA stuff. Um, but I'm looking forward to more 3x3 and 4x3. A few minutes later. All right, when <coughs> All right, we're now about midway through uh, the afternoon. I've done three by three second round and two by two second round so far this afternoon. Uh, three by three second round was quite bad. Uh, I counted a 9.9, so I got a sub eight average, which is pretty poor. And on my best over, like a mid six, I locked up at the end as well. So a bit annoyed about that. And then two by two, I don't practice it. It was just like a low three or something. Uh, not too worried. Um, so I think next up we've got Pyraminx and then five by five round one. Um, not really hoping for anything, just gonna have a good time. Hey guys, it's Chris Mills here. Back at it again with the Dope and Open Comp vlog. Part Chris, something. Thank you, and more handsome. Nice <laughs> try. Oh, we don't be We do all be trying. Right, so a few more rounds have happened. I think, what, Skew happened, 5x5, five 4x4, five, four four. didn't do very well in all of them. But somebody did do quite well, and that person is Timon, and Hello. he had a pretty good 5x5 five five round. How did it go? What happened? Yeah, well, uh, I wasn't doing too well. I was doing around the same times as I was doing the uh, Euros. But then on the fourth solve, I got some decently lucky cases, and I also solved extremely well, so I got a 33.9 single, which is overall PB. And, and uh, European and, record. Yeah, European record by over two seconds. So that's pretty cool. Me being an idiot thought it was world record for a bit and posted in CF and then realized it wasn't world record, but still a really good time. The second well, fastest time ever. It is close ever. to world record, it's which is impressive close. considering how second, good Max is. Yeah, we've been a second in Max Park. And you actually a shot, had a shot on the average if you got another 33 on the yeah. last hole. Uh, so good job to team on. Thank you. Hello everybody, um, we just did a Pyraminx round, how did you do? Did you make it to the Pyra final? Uh, yeah, of course. Uh, this is Christian by the way from Germany. How was your average? Uh, like this, I think about six seconds, so... Oh, that'll probably make the podium, right? Uh, maybe. Maybe. I think I got low free average and I had a good shot of getting sub free. The scrambles were good on the last couple, but they weren't that great. Uh, but I still got like a 3.1 average, which I'm pretty happy with. We're about to do Scoob, then 2x2 two two finals, and then 3x3 finals, and then we're gonna head home. Uh, so yeah, Scoob time. I love Scoob. Do you love Scoob? Oh, we all love Scoob. <laughs>
Hello. Oh. We're done with the comp now. Everything's yeah, getting a bit tidied up before we do awards. Hi, Sean. Hi, Chris. Uh, two by two finals was bad, but I still won. And three by three finals was bad, but I still came second. Short, uh, team one got a decent mid five average with a 4.3 full step, pretty speedy. Uh, but I managed to win every event that team one didn't do, and then come second in those events that team one did do. Uh, <laughs> so, kind of decent comp. Uh, yeah, we're gonna do you awards got lucky and then. I didn't compete in two of their registered events. But... And then go have dinner. All right, so that's a wrap for Dublin Open Saturday 2022. Tomorrow is another competition here in Dublin, uh, Dublin Open Sunday 2022, but it is a twin competition, meaning you're only allowed to compete in one. They, even, they just do this so more people get a chance to compete even if they don't have like a big enough venue for like a 200 person competition or something. Uh, today I didn't do too great, I didn't end up getting any personal records, um, but I wasn't really expecting some, I was hoping for 3x3 three three, but I haven't really been practicing much this week. Um, I got a good 5.9 single where I did uh, some fancy stuff and ZB and stuff like that. Um, I <laughs> something cool is Team One actually only really competed in two events today, five by five and three by three, and all the events he didn't compete in, so two by two, four by four, Pyraminx and Scube, I think that's it. Um, I managed to win, and then three by three and five by five, I came second. So a podium and everything, two seconds, four firsts, which was yeah pretty cool. I'm quite happy, I'm quite pleased with that. Um, so yeah, I did pretty good in Pyraminx, Scube, and. I attempted to do a lot of OLR parity avoidance, didn't do it that well in 4x4, but I've only known it for a few days and I was kind of just messing around with it because it was going to be pretty easy to, to win anyway. Um, but yeah, so tomorrow I'm going to be heading to the competition again anyway because I'm staying with my mate Simon who's competing tomorrow and I'm just going to go help out and hang out. Um, so I'll probably still film some stuff there, so don't tune out just yet. <laughs>